I am going to be spending lots of time, lots of self-love, lots of that soft life living here. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming an empty house tour. Yay! Finally, 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 we have gotten the keys to our house. We have been building for the last um, about seven months, but the whole process from the beginning to the end is probably around a year and a half, yes. It's been take, it's taken that long, um, but obviously it's COVID times and the whole world has changed. Everybody has changed. So uh, we're just so grateful to finally have the keys and we can start our life in our colored oasis. Obviously, this is a kind of like a start. Um, to the series about our house, um, all the decorations, all the details. Make sure you are subscribed, make sure you've turned on the notification bell, make sure that you are commenting, liking, sharing, and um, yes, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Starting with our beautiful green door, you know the color stats because I'm all about that colorful life. Like, what's life in gray? Boring. What's life in black? Boring. But just add a little bit of color and life is full. Let's come through and as you can see, some beautiful wood-like floors it's supposed to be really durable and if one of them cracks or anything like that you can basically just remove just a piece and literally replace it and then we've got these gorgeous arches the arched door or kind of like entry into a hallway of um, other rooms um, and then we've got this archway here which is like more for the entryway we're going to be decorating it really beautifully um, and I mean, the chandelier, do I need to say more? I'll be giving you guys more details about where all these things are from um, in the coming videos, um, so stay tuned. Okay, so guys, this will be where Color Adventures office will be. As you can see, we've got gorgeous large windows um, and then just the rest of it is an empty canvas or an open canvas where I can do as much as possible. And then obviously, um, we have um, a wardrobe here. So we obviously went for black and white. That is our main um, theme. So we just wanted to, you know, keep it quite minimalist. And that's that. And as you will see, we'll have uh, PowerPoints everywhere because this house is for creative people. <laughs> All right. Nothing too exciting, the usual, the toilet and the bathroom. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be spending lots of time, lots of self-love, lots of that soft life living here. <laughs> we made sure we got this bathtub as big as possible, so Lawrence, who is six foot four can actually fit in as well. But as you can see again, it's very minimalist, black appliances, um, except for this bad boy here, who we will definitely be changing. Uh, but for now, it does the job. So for the vanity, we went for just a very minimalist um, round ball um, and Definitely, definitely loving them. If you're wondering, we will be putting a mirror. Uh, we just opted not to have the mirrors um, put in by the builders because we wanted different mirrors. And then we just went for with the same laminate cupboard um, just under the sink. And yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's a bit, you know, it's floating just so it gives that illusion. Moving on, um, this gorgeous shower. So we tiled all the way to the ceiling, uh, which is about 270, that's how the height um, from uh, floor to ceiling, um, just so everybody is covered. And this is 
so so good because i am sick and tired of the whole situation of you know mounting shit on the wall <laughs> to put all your you know like shower stops and all that kind of stuff so this is the way to go forward and i was so glad that it was part of the standard inclusions with our builder and then the waste what is it the water waste really love this very gorgeous instead of having those silver ones that oh sometimes you just scratch your foot on but anyway again uh, black appliances loving it it's all matte and by the way those were all our upgrades moving on to the next room which is at the moment a bit of a workshop because this is where we started to um, do the curtains put up the curtains and so here we go we have been watching lots of videos about um, interior designing and all that kind of stuff leading up to um, us building and all that jazz. So one of the things was that you obviously want to put your curtains as high to the ceiling as possible. So we have gone and gotten some um, linen curtains from Ikea. I'm, lo I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So initially we're just going to put two curtains um, but then it was not giving me the ruching that I was looking for um, and so therefore we decided to put four so these are at the moment four curtains but as you can see it's gone from almost wall to wall and it looks really really beautiful I want someone to leave my house feeling like they've had an experience I'm all about experiences right but the rest of it is really just empty it's um, again we've got the cupboards or wardrobe um, like the room in the front and yeah we will be doing uh, videos about each room as we transform them all right guys so we are back into the hallway um, therefore I will just quickly show you guys the garage so this the garage is where there's probably like a few things that we've put in um, it's a two-car garage come through so nice and spacious so we're just going to obviously make a few changes in terms of like putting enough storage all right guys so after the garage we have the media room um, which is going to be actually Lawrence's studio this is so exciting and as we built this we made sure that we actually had a room that we could just specifically um, dedicate to uh, all things creative we've got paper backdrops we've got lights and all that jazz we'll have a nice big screen so we've got hdmi um, cables um, that are running from the behind the wall so we can be able to put a nice big tv and um, be able to show clients and all that kind of stuff if we've taken some videos and stuff um, and then we obviously have lots of powerpoints literally it was so funny um, the electrician was just like okay well these guys are a bit obsessive about their powerpoints <laughs> well if you leave things in the hands of my husband um, some of it is going to be a little bit overkill but I think it's going to be all useful but anyway, um, and then the other thing is obviously we've made sure that we've put a bit of reinforcements in the walls to be able to hold um, the wallpapers and all that kind of stuff. And then we've got a nice pocket sliding door just cause it, you know, it makes it a little bit easy. And so therefore we'll maximize all the space that we can get. And then guys, to the best part of the house, the kitchen <laughs> this is where we're going to be living we'll be cooking all kinds of beautiful dishes while sipping on some vino and other things you know what i'm saying um so the kitchen this is also where there's a little splash of color right okay so first things first this is where the fridge will be going as you can see um we did a little upgrade in terms of uh making the cupboards a little bit higher than normal and we just put a little bit of a we just wanted a bit of a display you know with the glass so that's something that is exciting that's something that i've always been actually really interested in we'll see how i feel after living with it obviously because i know that there'll be lots of cleaning that comes with it but then again you know that's okay um as you can see, we've got PowerPoints on both sides and then we've got this gorgeous 
Bosch induction cooktop. This basically, okay, let's put it this way. So I chose the colors in this space, right? And Lawrence chose, <laughs> he basically chose and upgraded pretty much all the electrical appliances, literally. It was so, so funny. We paid <laughs> extra money just so we can get the top range of Bosch. I mean, he's German. Can you blame him? <laughs> but so far, I'm really, really happy with all the appliances, how they look and how they operate. And then obviously, my gorgeous baby, the English farmhouse with the grooving on the outside. Oh my gosh, it honestly just elevates this kitchen to the next level. So insta-worthy, like there's gonna be so many things I'll be doing here. I mean, even when I have a baby, I'm gonna be showering my baby here, you know, in the beginning, because it's just massive, massive, massive. But I am so, 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 so happy with this upgrade. So this was an upgrade. The Tupperware is a basic one. Um, it's going to do for now, but I'm definitely sure that we'll be changing it just because we want to have the one that you can pull out and be able to wash things a bit, you know, um, deeper in the sink. And we've got the dishwasher on this end. We've got um, the microwave on this end. And then walking into the pantry. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love my pantry plenty of space um, we've got a few um, powerpoints and so therefore I can use lots of the appliances in here um, away from everybody and it is just such a vibe and we actually have got a little space here for a wine fridge because I mean <laughs> we love that wine you know what I'm saying so Okay, and then obviously let's not forget our gorgeous pendant lights which are so, so beautiful and give me so much light and just, you know, like, just create such a mood in the kitchen um, in the nighttime especially. So, um, yeah, I love my kitchen so much. Moving on. Can you see me? <laughs> Oh my God, I love, 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 love this space. This is gonna be our living and dining. Um, so we obviously have got the massive um, door which is supposed to give us that indoor, outdoor living. And panning this way, we've got um, this massive window which is gonna be like the focal point for the um, dining and um, yeah, we're just gonna be putting some curtains there as well, just some linen curtains, and it's just really gorgeous. Um, and we'll obviously put some piece of art on there just to create, you know, a moment. This will be the TV nook, and as, as you can see, all these things here, these are like HDMI um, points, um, just to make sure that we don't have any lines running through as we put the TV and sound system and all that jazz so it's just gonna be nice and clean and it's gonna be such a vibe we've got another arch and this is leading to the next part of the house next quarters so we will start with um the bedroom to the right nothing really fancy it's just like you know we've got cupboards there and then it's just a nice clean room, very simple. Moving on to the laundry. Now, we spend a bit of money in here as well. I love coming into this room, but imagine like, you you know, like the laundry looks so shit and you're coming to do laundry, like seriously. Anyway, onto it. So we've got a cupboard here, which will be like more like linen and all that kind of stuff. And then we've like divided it so, We've divided it just so we can actually have space for the vacuum and some brooms and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then on the other side is where we'll be putting some linen. We've got also more space here for linen and anything else, um, detergents and all that kind of stuff. We've got a nice simple sink, more space for storage. And then obviously we have space underneath here for uh, washer and dryer. And yeah, like I think it actually looks so nice. I'm so glad we were 
um, was smart about it and um, did a little upgrade to it. Okay, and then moving into the master suite, master bedroom. Uh, this is gonna be another part of my sanctuary. Um, and so as you can see, it's a little bigger than all the other rooms. Um, lots of PowerPoints. Uh, we've got a nice big window, which um, we'll be making sure that, you know, the backyard looks very nice to just give, give us that zen and calm vibe. Okay, into here we've got the wardrobe, the walk-in robe, which is so tiny, so freaking tiny. And honestly, if there's one thing I would change in this house, it would be this space. I wish it was bigger, but we just have to deal with what we have currently. So we are going to, we've been looking at the IKEA pack system and we are going to make it work, right? And then into the bathroom, I've got a nice big bathroom with a rain shower and also, have you realized that we've got like, always like one that you can remove? That's for me. <laughs> That's for me so I can also reach. <laughs> But anyway, again, we've got, so we've got his and her sink here. We've got these gorgeous lights just to give us a little bit of an ambience, some storage underneath a toilet and the towel rail. And let's not forget, we've got also um, a light um, above and heat lamps, especially in the winter, that's gonna come in really, really, really handy. Back to the um, bedroom, we obviously are planning to have our bed around here on this side with the head over here and then we'll be putting like a chair to the corner there and we might put a chest of drawers just to give us a bit more storage but other than that guys that is it for our house tour obviously the outside is looking like the forest but we'll be working on it um, it has been such an incredible learning process, right? Um, it has honestly, um, I've grown so much, both Lawrence and I have grown so much um, from it and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. We are actually so excited and looking forward to finishing it all up and decorating and all that kind of stuff. And I wouldn't mind building again. I mean, like halfway through the process, I was like, oh my gosh, I hate this. I don't ever want to build, but I, looking back now, I think I would want to build again. And we are just so grateful to everybody that has been there through the process. My family um, has been a huge help in so many ways and I can never thank them enough. I thank God for, walking us through so many blind spots and you know like you know realize like seeing it before things get worse and i'm so grateful to um our site manager who has been the most incredible person ever his name is david firth and he's got um a company called i think firth construction um they he is in, absolutely incredible highly recommend him and to osma our um builders we are so thankful to you guys it's obviously been a um, <laughs> cat and mouse type of um experience but i mean that's just that's just life you know um we're spending so much money and you are doing such a big job that involves so many other tradies you can't always control everything and we can't always control anything everything either but together we made a beautiful house and we are so grateful so um I'll wrap it up there guys, so much more to come, stay tuned, comment down below, let us know what you like, what you don't like, how you would do things differently if you've built what has been your experience and we will catch you guys in our next video, pam, 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 peace out.